Greetings and welcome to another exciting adventure of the Planetary Persuader. This is for August 9th, 2019. And so what do we got? Well, we've got a moon in Sagittarius. And the part of Sagittarius that the moon is in, I believe, is still in the nakshatra known as Anurata, which is ruled by Saturn. Its ruling deity is Mitra, the god of light. And the thing about Anurata is like it has this ability to make friends in all kinds of places and it likes to live in multiple different locations if possible, like so, you know, foreign countries or different cities. And so that's kind of Mitra's gameplay. You know, it's a it's a game player. And um <clears throat> and there's a lot of um strength and commitment because the Mars rulership of Scorpio and then the Saturn rulership of the Nakshatra, they work out together, and that's it. And that's how it goes. So if you look in the constellation of Scorpio, that's where you're going to find the moon today, if you're looking in the sky. Okay. Now, if we're talking seasonal, tropical astrology, we call this a Sagittarius moon. But if you looked at Sagittarius, that's not where the moon is at. you know. And that's why <clears throat> I acknowledge these, the sidereal part, because... <clears throat> Why the heck talk about stars if you can't look at them where they actually are? <clears throat> okay, so with that said, um, we are. There's some things that happen this week. We've got a full moon on Thursday, um, 5:59 a.m. in the morning, and it's 22. Degrees 24 minutes Aquarius in uh, tropical astrology, which means it's actually the tail end of Capricorn in the in the actual sky in the nakshatra known as Dynista, and Dynista is ruled by Mars. This is like the flip side of the other thing. It's ruled by Mars, but it's also two Saturn ruled signs rule it: Aquarius and Capricorn, because it's half in Capricorn, half in Aquarius. <clears throat> So it's kind of like we're, we're ending the week the way we started it. Um, but Dionysia is a really neat, unique um, attribute of music. So Wednesday night will be like the big full moon into early Thursday morning, and you'll be feeling it. And um, yeah, it's going to be all about Dionysia. So what a great night to play music and uh, to, uh, to feel the love, so to speak. Um, so, this weekend, <clears throat> the moon will be in Sagittarius Friday, most of Saturday, Saturday night at 9.50 p.m. moon goes into Capricorn, it'll be in Mula Nakshatra, um, and, uh, and that's how most of Sunday is going to be as well, although it will move into the other Nakshatra of uh, Purvashada, which is really victorious, and the cool thing about the Victory Day Moon is that day, this Sunday, Jupiter goes direct. So on the 11th, at 6:38 in the morning, Jupiter goes direct. We also have Mercury moving into Leo that day, so we're not being all, oh, you know, so touchy feely. Cancerian in our words, we're Leo, we're bold, we'll say bold things, you know, like like President Trump. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's just like such a bold thing to say. <clears throat> and, um, you know, he, he doesn't owe anybody anything, so I guess that's part of the appeal. Um, you know, it's like a banana peel, it's easy to slip on. <laughs> All right. That's enough of that. Um, now we're going to go sign by sign, um, starting